Uh, I'm Seema Kulkarni and uh, I come from Maharashtra. I'm a member of the national facilitation team of the Mahila Kisan Adhikar Manch, which is the forum for women's rights, women farmers' rights. Uh, I also represent uh, an organization in Pune which is uh, working on water issues, uh, SOPECOM uh, is the name. And uh, what brings me to this conference is uh, it's an interesting uh, mix of people who come from the government, so it's an opportunity to engage with the state, uh, particularly on a contentious issue like land. And uh, as part of Makam and Sopecom, we are uh, extremely concerned about this whole question of land rights for women, land rights for other disadvantaged groups but uh, not looking at land alone but uh, looking at a basket of rights so looking at uh, credit looking at water particularly uh, which uh, as a basket of rights uh, has a lot of uh, importance in terms of livelihoods uh, of women uh, so i was here basically to talk uh, or rather comment on the uh, moral land leasing law which the government of india has uh, recently proposed and uh, it's, it's, uh, we welcome it in some ways. So what I spoke about briefly uh, was at one level to welcome it because there's a lot of fallow land which uh, in fact in many states uh, women's groups and other disadvantaged groups are already leasing in for their subsistence uh, and livelihoods. But a lot of these uh, leases are informal because uh, there is no legal space to actually formally uh, engage in uh, uh, tenancy agriculture so uh, so this is a welcome step but uh, there are a lot of things that we feel uh, need to be addressed particularly if it has to be uh, favorable for uh, women's groups women's collectives as well as collectives of uh, Dalits and Adivasis so those were some of the recommendations that we made because uh, land is a state subject so the model law only can work as a guideline or as a framework but what the states should do is something that uh, we, I try to present here. And uh, basically what we are trying to say is that uh, to make it more favorable, it should, uh, there should be an accountability. It, the state has to intervene. So it cannot simply be a mutual agreement between the owner and the, uh, the person who leases in. But it has to be with state uh, presence where there is registration of these leases so that there's a security that is created. Uh, it has to move beyond just two individuals to also be inclusive of uh, groups and collectives uh, that are being promoted in a significant way. So those are the two major uh, things, uh, but importantly allow access and increase banker confidence uh, so that you know uh, the law then really becomes, uh, has some meaning and has some teeth, otherwise it's, uh, it really will just end up as a, uh, another law. So state support is something that we are strongly sort of advocating on the lines of what Kerala government has uh, already done in terms of dovetailing a whole range of schemes that would actually bring agriculture out of its crisis. So it's not merely attributing it to a, a lack of leasing law, but also attributing the crisis to a range of other uh, state interventions that are needed. So we really want this sort of uh, coming together of the land lease law and state support uh, to get agriculture out of the crisis and get women at the forefront of uh, agriculture and land.